Hello, and welcome to part two of Graveyard Keeper. We are on day two, and we are no longer doing the tutorial. Yay. Hmm. I don't know what we're doing. I forgot. And it's raining. Yay. I guess now I'm out of the tutorial, I can do what I want. I need to find this, uh, the stamp and I also have to return to Hodrick because I finished his old quest. I just need to get a beer from the tavern for Jerry. I'll do that now, might as well. Still annoyed at how long it takes to walk across. I also hope you like the um collab I did with my friend for once. Now it's fun. I don't know what that says, but okay. Great scene. I don't have to talk to that lady. It's good you know how to use a sword. Creswell told me how you helped him. Here, have a beer. It's on the house. Hey, got a free beer. Oh, I don't need to buy it then. Neat. Hello. Hi. What do you want? I'm a graveyard keeper and I want to ask you some questions. I see. You know how many times a day I hear that same mumble? I have no time for you, little man. Come back when you have more faith in yourself. What does that even mean? Ciao. Hey, old friend, can I have a moment? Who are you? What did Miss Charm tell you? Literally to go away. Ah, always so classy. She would never talk to just anyone. I'm not just anyone, I'm the local graveyard keeper. Soon to be prior of the local church. How primitive. I'm a well known poet in certain small circles. My name is Wagner. One day I'll read my poem to her. And then we'll... But first, I need to write it. I am cut catastrophically out of paper and ink. Maybe you can get me some? You were not a new technology and got perk. Journalist. You notice the little things about people. Put these things together and you have a story. Sometimes you get stories from dialogues. You may have some of it in your church, or you can make it. And that's not just a manual labour, but a skillful man such as, eh, such as yourself. Such as you can surely do it. Also, you could get some from the old astrologer. He used to go to the lighthouse every moon. Who was my supplier before we had this ridiculous fight? He's old and mad. Whereas I've been studying for three, almost three years at the town university. Can you believe he turned out to be an idiot? He told me what the earth is round. What nonsense. Actually, it is round. Oh god, you should definitely meet him. The mad astrologer and the graveyard keeper. Two wise men. Hmm, that can make for a pretty funny poem. This astrologer must be the smartest man around. Maybe he'll be able to help me get back home. 
I found a cliff to the east of the village. It hasn't seen active use for a while. Best the dead horse will stay in the open. One day I'll write a poem about this place. Maybe even a couple lines about you. Hmm. I got stuck at this bit when I first played the game. I didn't know where to find any of that stuff. I guess I'll wait for the moon and then try to find the lighthouse. But for now I shall go back to Jerry with the beer. no donkey yet either. Very sad. Wait, no, I need to go down here, don't I? Jerry. <coughs> hey, where's my beer? <coughs> ah, what a disappointment. I think I need something stronger. <laughs> Alright, you seem like a decent guy, so here's some advice. Stop running around bragging that you're from another world. Today you whisper that to a drinking buddy in a tavern, and tomorrow your face is on every pole in the town. How we want to keep yours? Just stop. Maybe he's right. I should be more careful. And it seems that no one actually cares. So what was your question? How can I get it? Easy. I'm so you could use the portal on which hill. So I just need to go through it or what? Do I need to turn it on first? I obviously don't have a brain inside here, so I'm not sure where that knowledge is coming from. I told you everything I can remember. Maybe some books from the library can help. Me. Wow. The church has a library in its cellar. Or maybe the astrologer knows something. He's smart, man. He used to steal books from libraries when he was a kid. Obviously through the church, and I think your wine cellar might be connected to the, uh, to the church cellar. Oh, even the mall is connected. It's a network of tunnels down here. Net, net. I used to like fishing. I remember fishing. I to call fish facade. I've got no hands to show how big it was, but believe me, it was huge. I hate fish tails, and once... You know what? I need it though. Sure, sure. It's nice to have legs, don't bring the meat. There, don't forget to bring me some wine. Oh, he's so smart and very cheerful, though I don't know him personally, I think. But his wine was the best. And he was a big friend of the lighthouse keeper. He used to hang out at the lighthouse every week. Near seaside. I don't know. All these questions are so frustrating. You're not a very good friend, you know. Hmm. Sorry, Jerry. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna. Wait, there's a map. Hold on. Where's the lighthouse? Hmm? What? What? <laughs> There's no lighthouse. On the map. Unless I'm blind. Oh, maybe we have to go that way. I'll have a look. See. But now I want to work on the graveyard and start trying to open the church.
I'm still about getting rid of all the, the bushes and that. The graves are kind of hard, I didn't really get it. I don't think I can get the two years yet. And it's already becoming night time. Yay. Not really. get the rest of these bushes and I'll sleep. Maybe I'll get a body tomorrow, tomorrow, hopefully. game froze for a moment then. I was scared. I was scared I didn't save. <laughs> I think it's just be playing for some reason. It's the exact same dialogue. Cool beans. Well, if I didn't save last time, then at least I didn't lose much progress. I'm gonna. Where's the. Oh, it's down here, isn't it? Hold on. I'm gonna continue working on the graveyard today. No bodies. And I believe you wanted me to get rid of the grave down here. To the river he goes. <laughs> Rip. Goodbye. What do you think you're doing here? A ghost asked me to get rid of this body. So what? Now you're just gonna do everything he asks? It's not like he can do anything to you. Haha. Uh -huh. 
He's disembodied. Whereas I can bite you to death while you're sleeping. Of course I'd never do anything like that because they're friends, but you get my point, right? Anyway, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of a body is to burn it. The river. Somewhere down to the town, I think. You know what? You're one of those guys who look a lot smarter than they actually are. Thanks. That's what I'm talking about. You need a fire and some wood. <laughs> it's a bit tricky to make the whole thing to burn to ash. Where can I burn? Hmm, you need a nice quiet place. Like the place I use for my meditation. Across the road from the mortuary or entrance near the cliff. Hmm. get the church open so I'm gonna focus on this for a bit. I'll fix this one. Nice. This one? Yes. How do I make... Don't I need to go into here? Hold on. I will look for here a minute. Oh, here. Can I make this? I need another red. Where do I get red ones from? Red points represents your handcraft and skills and your ability to work with materials. But where do I get it? Maybe if I build another grave? Did nothing at all. Can I get rid of that one? Hold on. Remove. I'm gonna get rid of this one again. And I'm gonna get rid of that one. Oh, that was a waste of time. And I guess I could have heard of wooden bits, at least. Hope we eventually turn all of this in the stone. Hmm. 
And then I can't do any more. Maybe I can build something here to get rid of things or not. I'll get my bed. What's that on you? Stop. What's that sound? Hello, my dude. You gonna do anything? I'll come here every night if I have to, but I'll get through eventually. <laughs> Looks like I can remove this blockade to fortify the arch. I don't think it does, but okay. Ooh, I got red thingies. Why is he back again? Oh. Good. It's that much nicer without him at the graveyard. I'm still so sad though. I'm so lonely. I was bad when I was alive. I should have been a better person. <laughs> what do you mean? We're dead, but we still deserve some respect. Oh fine, I'll tell you. Each corpse is a soul's vessel. It bears the mark of his life. Sins are red skulls and good deeds are white skulls. Even the best decorations can't make graveyard a peaceful place when it's full of red skulls. I'm not sure what I understand what you're talking about. I'm sure you don't, Hannah. You better take a good care of your graveyard. I'll be watching you. I can't do anything. I'm so sad. Boo. Mood. All human remains have their own unique spiritual attributes. A corpse gets its skulls from its body parts. You can change your corpse's skulls by removing organs and embalming. The main way to increase the graveyard's level is to decorate graves. The objects add more decoration. Each line that has both skull and decoration counts as one skull decoration. Lines that have red skulls never count. But you need to fill them with decoration for the white school lines. Well, that was part two. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.